What's up you guys? Welcome back. So I know at the beginning of my videos I always say today I'm super excited and I am always super excited to film for you guys but today is extra special because we are going to be checking out the new e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. I am so excited. So you guys know if you watch me, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter is one of my all-time favorite products. This has gone viral the past couple of years. It is one of the most beautiful products and I love it. But it is of course Charlotte Tilbury which makes it at a high-end price point. So our friends over at e.l.f. have apparently created a dupe or a super similar product. So we're gonna put it to the test today. I'm gonna put both of them on my face. We're gonna do a wear test, all the things. So I am so excited excited you guys like we know we know we know you're excited so without further ado let's just get into the video because i just cannot wait to try this so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already and click the little bell right next to the subscribe button so you'll be notified of all my future uploads and let's go ahead and get started all right so before we jump into trying it out and give you guys some stats so this is going to be retailing for 14 dollars which is significantly cheaper than the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter this retails for 44 dollars you can find this at sephora nordstrom more like high-end beauty retailers where the e.l.f. products you are going to be able to find on e.l.f.'s website like as soon as I upload this it will be available on e.l.f.'s website so I will link that down below and then eventually we will start to see it at more retailers I believe I've read that Target will be the only place that's going to offer it in store and that will be starting in August so if you want to get it early your best bet is to probably order it online so I will link it anywhere available down below which I believe right now is only going to be on e.l.f.'s website so it's going to be $14 it comes in eight what they are calling flexible shades the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter does also come in eight shades so my assumptions is the shades will probably mimic each other I am sometimes shade three or shade four in the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury so we will kind of do the same thing these also run in shades like one through eight um, so this is shade three that I have right here so we'll see if three or four matches us better but basically it's supposed to be a super glowy complexion booster so this has squalene and hyaluronic acid in it and it says right here on the back it's supposed to create a skin enhancing soft focus effect for effortless radiance the only filter you will ever need I love that oh my gosh I'm so excited so basically you can wear this alone you can wear it as a primer before you put foundation on top of it which is typically how I wear the flawless filter you can add it into a complexion product to boost up the glow or you can wear it as a liquid highlighter on your skin so lots of different ways to wear this product I am just going to put it on my bare skin so we can see it on its own so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury on this side of my face so we can just compare them real quick if you're unfamiliar with Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter it does have a doe foot applicator which I do like and this one I believe does have it too yes okay Ooh, but it's actually much bigger on the elf one as compared to the charlotte tilbury one which i like i feel like the charlotte tilbury one is a little small for an all over the face product like it's more of the size of like a concealer where this is what we would see with like a foundation type size so i do like that but like i said let's use flawless filter first i'm gonna go in with shade four because i am a little tan right now tan for me at least um so i'm just gonna apply this to this side of my face and i'm just gonna blend it out with a beauty sponge which is exactly how i typically apply it and you guys will see gives a slight coverage but really just a lot of glow and really kind of smooths out the skin i do wear it sometimes completely on its own on a more everyday basis but when I'm doing full out glam looks I kind of use it as like a glowy base and then I'll go in with a product that has a little bit more coverage but can be used either way for the sake of today's video I probably am just going to leave it as the only complexion product that we're using so we can really put them to the test with one another all right looks beautiful as always but of course we're gonna test out the elf one next to it to see so I'm gonna use shade four in the elf one as well since I am four in Charlotte Tilbury and we'll see how it works I can do swatches of both of the products on my hand for first before we go in on the face. So there's Charlotte Tilbury right there. Now let's do e.l.f. right next to it. Okay, the e.l.f. one actually might be a little bit darker in shade four. So let me look at shade three here and let's compare. Okay, yeah, no, shade three is actually significantly lighter, so I'm gonna go with four. I think that'll be our closest bet. If I was to mix them together, it would probably be perfect, but I feel like that's not super helpful to you guys watching because you'll probably only purchase one of them if you do purchase it. So I try when using new complexion products like not to really mix them because I feel like it's not super helpful, but it is an option that you do have. Let me just wipe off the bottom of this beauty blender with a little makeup sponge so we can clean it off so there's no product contamination and we can really see the difference. All right, let's go in with this now. On this side, let me move my hair. Definitely like the larger um, doe foot on this much better. 
because I feel like with the Charlotte Tilbury, I have to keep digging back into it just because the doe foot is smaller, where this one does pick up more products, which is nice. Also, as far as like product size goes, you get 1.06 fluid ounces with the e.l.f. and in the Charlotte Tilbury, my it has all like worn off on the back that says how much product you get. So let me look. Okay, I'm looking at Sephora's website with Charlotte Tilbury, you get one ounce. You actually get more product with the e.l.f. one, which is surprising. Typically when the products are like cheaper, you will get less product, but not with e.l.f. So that's pretty cool. All right, I think I have enough on there. Now let's go in and blend it out again. Same technique, just using my beauty sponge. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is like, I'm like speechless at this moment. I mean, I feel like this looks almost exactly identical aside from the fact that the e.l.f. one is a slight bit darker. It's a little bit darker, the shade four versus the four in Charlotte Tilbury, but like they both give that beautiful glowiness to the skin. I actually feel like the e.l.f. one gave me a little bit more coverage than the Charlotte Tilbury one did. It has a little smidge more pigment in it, but again, that could be skewed a little bit because it is a little bit darker. But I feel like it gave me enough coverage that I could wear this as my only complexion product today. I will go in and just apply a little concealer and stuff, spot conceal some blush, which I'll show you guys. But I'm just gonna leave this as the only complexion product and wear it throughout the day so we can see how they both wear as well because that's obviously super important too. But oh my gosh, <laughs> I was about to curse, but I'm like not cursing on here. This really looks, I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comments, but like, whoa. I mean, if anybody's gonna do it, it's gonna be e.l.f. because I feel like they create really great products at affordable price points, but man, oh man, this is pretty dang good. Dang, okay. So this is what it looks like as it's first applied. I feel like side to side, I cannot tell a difference in these products. Like I really can't. They are both super beautiful, but obviously the e.l.f. one is at a much more affordable price point. I feel like I'm like blown away at this moment. Oh, I'm so excited, okay. So like I said, I'm gonna use this as like my base for my complexion. I will go in with a few more products and just do like a natural kind of makeup look, but I'm not gonna put any foundation or anything on top of this, just some concealer under the eyes and not any blemishes I might have. And we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day. Okay, I'm just going to finish off my look now and I'll just show you guys what I'm doing. Just going in with a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape just to spot conceal any areas that I have blemishes. I like this one best for like blemishes and I'm just gonna use a little bit of a dewier concealer underneath my eyes, but that just helps to amp up the coverage in some of the areas that I need a little extra. We're not gonna do like too much makeup today because I really just wanna see how this product works. I'm gonna go in with a little bit concealer. This is the Hourglass Vanish underneath my eyes. I'm gonna blend that out. I like to pair this concealer when I use like really glowy products because it's more of a natural finish instead of super matte. Gonna use the Soul Cream Bronzer just to sculpt out these cheeks. I've been loving this, it's so good. I feel like this could be, like if it lasts well, my new everyday complexion product. Like I feel like my complexion looks really pretty and glowy and I'm so excited. Now I'm just going in with a little of the Say Blush and Chili on my cheeks and blending that out. A little Charlotte Tilbury Very Victoria lipstick. This is my favorite nude. Maybe I'll can make one for this because I love this nude. And then a little bit of the Physicians Formula Gloss on my lips and we should be good to go. With this super glowy little look, I am gonna hit my face with Urban Decay All Nighter. I always use this, so I'm gonna hit my entire face with it as a setting spray so we can give it the best chance to last throughout the day, like I said. I just basically wanted to do my routine how I would normally do it and this is part of my normal routine, but I'll be hitting both sides with it. There we go, and that should be it. So I'm gonna wear this all day long and I will do check-ins throughout the day. Then again, later tonight, and we will see if the e.l.f. one lasts as good as the Charlotte Tilbury. It's just after 11 a.m. here, so I'll wear this for like at least eight hours, probably longer than that. So I will see you guys soon. Hello, you guys. So it is just about 3.30. I'm just going in front of a window so I can give you guys a little natural daylight check-in and we can see how everything's looking. We are still looking nice and glowy. I have not set with any powder. I do think I'm gonna set my under eyes with some powder because I am getting a little bit of creasing. So I'm gonna hit my under eyes with a little bit of powder. Um, but the rest of my face, I'm gonna keep it nice and glowy. But of course, if you don't like this much of a glow, you could set your entire face with powder. Or if you have like oilier skin, my skin is pretty dry. So I don't mind the glow, but both sides are still looking really nice. And I feel like wearing really beautifully. This, again, for reference, is the e.l.f. side. 
and this is the Charlotte Tilbury side. So I'm gonna continue on wearing this throughout the day and I'll see you guys later tonight. Hello you guys, so I am back for the final check-in. It is 10, 10 p.m. right now, so I have worn this all day long and I have some thoughts on this new e.l.f. product. Oh my goodness, so as a refresher, this side is Charlotte Tilbury. The little baby hairs are going crazy. And this side is the e.l.f. side. I have not touched it up at all. The only thing I did was I did add powder to my under eye area, like literally just right here. But the rest of my face, I have not touched up at all, all day long. Honestly, I think the e.l.f. side looks better. Let me know what you guys think, but I actually think that the e.l.f. side looks better after the wear test than the Charlotte Tilbury side does. Like they still both look beautiful. They're both beautiful products and I feel like they wore very similarly, but I feel like I look a little bit more like, almost a little bit more like oilier and I have more dry skin, so I don't normally look oily um, on the Charlotte Tilbury side. Like it's almost to this point a little bit too much. Like I love to glow, but it's a little bit like, whoa where I feel like on the e.l.f. side still looks like pretty glowy, but not like, do you have olive oil on your face sort of situation, you know what I mean? I feel like as the day went on, it wore a little bit better, um, just because we have a little bit less glow. And like on this side, it's kind of like really glowy around my nose, where this side is like a little bit better, I think. I don't know, but I am like just blown away by this, honestly. Like, e.l.f. killed it in my personal opinion. I think that this is a great product and it will absolutely be a staple in my routine. I think it looks beautiful. And I'm actually really surprised because like I said, I didn't typically use the Flawless Filter just completely on its own. But I feel like either of them um, could totally be worn on its own. Definitely the e.l.f. one as well could totally be worn on its own all day long. You don't have to put another product over it like I was typically used to doing, like adding a tinted moisturizer or another foundation on top of it. Um, I feel like you do get a good amount of coverage with this and then you can just use a concealer to spot conceal like I did um, and it'll look beautiful throughout the day. So definitely a very versatile product. You can use it like I did, mix it in with your foundation, use it as a primer, use it as a highlighter and I absolutely love it. Nothing but good things today. I think honestly to date this is like my favorite e.l.f. product that they have ever come out with. So, so good. But definitely let me know your thoughts down below which side you guys think looks better. I'll kind of like pan back and forth for y'all, but both were beautifully. They're both great products. You can't go wrong with either, but just really excited that we have a more affordable option now. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I will try and link it down below where you can get it, but I believe the only place right now is Elf's website, but check down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.